Hello everybody, my name is Zenixia, and welcome back to Dead Cells. So we've had a couple of bad runs recently. Uh, we had one that went pretty, pretty well, in fact, when we got to the boss. We almost killed it, but uh, we're hoping to improve the part of that. Wow, have they upgraded the speed of blood? They really have. I haven't, I'd never take the blood sword unless I have to. I'm, oh, nice guy. I'm fairly certain that they've... Uh, oh. There. That is nice. Okay, cool. So what I'm, I'm just basically hoping that we get a. a <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna try my best and actually concentrate. I'll obviously be adding to you at the same time because what would be the start of this video otherwise? Bye bye. Um, because there are, I'm sure, plenty of people playing Dead Cells, but God knows people just come here for a charm. I actually just want to start off and just say a big thank you to all of you who have been watching my videos. Um, it is 200 views, and I'm not going to say the word only because that is a lot. Uh, when you think about it. I've got 40, 40 videos or so up, I've been going for about 60 weeks, and I've got 200 views, and about, more importantly than that, for me anyway, I've got about 2,500 minutes of actual view time on, which is amazing. If you just do that calculation quickly in your head, you'll realize that is over 40 hours has been watched on my channel. So, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Um, it means a great deal. And if anyone has any feedback or anything like that, please, please feel free to put them in. As long as it's cr constructive criticism, I am open to it 100%. Um, if you think there's anything I'm doing wrong or anything I'm doing well, or as I've said in previous videos, if there's any games you want me to play or have a look at, I would love to hear some input. Uh, no problem. Okay, anything here that's good? Not particularly. I'll probably take that. So I did do a couple of runs. Um, the, the recording didn't work for because my computer hates me, apparently. Um, let's have a look at this. Ooh, nice. Have it. My computer hates me, apparently. Um, the recording's just sounded robotic, which is exceptionally annoying, as you can imagine, but you didn't miss anything. Not much that interesting in them. In terms of content, it was kind of just really bad, luck, more or less. Uh, so you've not missed anything, uh, thankfully. <laughs> if it's been anything good, I might put it up as an apology, but, or put it up as an extra video. But anyway, don't worry about that. It's annoying for me. I can't really complain that I'm just having to sit here and play a game for longer. <laughs> Health first, of course, of course. Swords that I've forgotten the name of. Oh my word. The. That's ridiculous. I only got one upgrade. No, I've had three upgrades. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, apparently I've had three upgrades, I just haven't noticed. Um, but yeah. I had the uh, swords. The one that gives you extra damage when you're below half health. Sorry. It's been a long day, uh, as always. And it, it's just pretty rubbish, unless you're below half health. Which is a dangerous place to be when you're me, because I get hit a lot. Let's see, let's see. So we're going to be taking the Ossuary route, of course. So we want to get as many upgrades as we can. And if I can't beat the Ossuary, then I'm probably not going to be able to beat the boss. I do so love the world. It's such a nice thing. We can just we can just attack. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, the stunning is the only 
down. Plus one strength, I'm going to have to take that. I will, I think, change it for them. Uh, I should really change it for death or... No. I got a grenade. And I want to try this, because I haven't tried it properly. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, no, never mind. I thought it was a... I thought it was a right click. Uh, like a, a secondary weapon. A right click. Skill set. That's actually, I'm pretty happy with getting a couple of skills. I don't want to get like 200 of them like I've done in the previous episode. But a few would be certainly acceptable. as well as it seems to just like freeze the some enemies in place. Like, it's definitely very, very easy to see. Excuse me, I was not. Basically, it's a Michelin. The Michelin Guide is a restaurant guide, uh, which works on a star system. If you got, you can have one, two, or three stars. And three-star restaurants are like the supposedly the top, top restaurants in the world, but they're they're not everyone's sort of style either. I don't want to do this because they're very um, a very specific style of food and a specific style of service as well, which not everyone likes. Um, it's also sort of very theatrical. Which suited me quite well, because I also used to do a lot of theatre when I was younger. Um, but the restaurant itself was very interesting. We used to, it was like... We used to serve this between 23 and 26 courses per game. You heard me right, yeah. 23 to 26 courses. Now, obviously, these courses are very um, Otherwise, they're dead. But there was eight, each course had a, um, a story or a description about it. You had to, in a way, you had to present. Which kind of, that's where the food training really kicked in and helped a lot, like to present the story in an interesting way, talking about the ingredients and where they come from, and like there were certain items on the menu that were uh, supposed to be like, representative of memories that the chef had, beauty like the sense of smell and taste was linked to uh, memory. Yeah, the two that are most linked to memory. So you're much more likely if you smell something or taste something familiar, then it's more likely to bring up uh, memories of your past than, say, uh, touch. 
And um, so there was this one dish. The reason that that reminds me of this one dish that we uh, had, which was like, one of the first dishes on the, uh, on the, the whole menu. I like this. Exchange it for the death orb. I love the death orb, but the cluster bomb level 5 is also very cool. And basically what it was was it was like a chicken broth uh, in the kitchen. And then, uh, and then what you do, so if you imagine the orange pink chicken, um, you'd sort of put heat on heat. And it was, it was actually like, if you imagine there was like a oh, it's gone. But if you imagine there was like a divide in the middle, two separate glass parts. You'd heat up the stock in the bottom part. Uh, which would then be forced through a tube up into the top part, which was filled with dried mushrooms. It. it was all very good. And um, come back down and then be in the and you drink it. It was all very good. Um, that was quite cool. So you'd have to like do all this at, at the table. And you have to learn how to do that. And, of course. But um, talk at the same time and do all the presentations. Et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there's a lot of things like that, but there's a lot of equipment by the tables we had to use a lot of the time, and it did go wrong occasionally, as you can probably imagine. Uh, uh, like once, I remember very, very well, which was highly embarrassing. Uh, we started a dish for the summer, a strawberry dish, um, and we got some of the strawberries that we used before, and made them into a, uh, a strawberry juice. And <laughs> boiled them in sugar for the And concentrate, which you would then which you would then uh, put into like a soda stream machine and like a and then add uh, and bubbles to it to make it fizzy. And we'd serve that at the table. This was the first time we had it. The first time we'd made it. And the first time we serving it. And we hadn't tested it before. We had a brand new slice of it. And what we hadn't realized was that the actual pressure inside the slice was too high. So what happened was I got it, I got it to the table, I did the big presentation. It was all very dramatic. I'm standing there in a suit and looking very Boom. And uh, I lifted up one of the glasses to pour into it and I sprayed. I pulled the button on the slice to get the get the juice out of the glass, and what happened is that I spray it and it sprays so hard it comes out the other side of the glass and sprays all over the woman sitting there next to me, sitting there next to where I was standing, who is wearing, of course, a white dress. So she's got to go home with all these red spots. She took it very well, thankfully. My boss didn't, uh, but he realised shortly afterwards that it wasn't really my fault, it was kind of everyone's. Including his, because we had the tent this site before using it. That was great. Well um, before using it. It was great. There was a lot of things that could and did. Oh, God, there was a lot of things that could and, do and did go wrong at that place. Um, not too frequently, but relatively frequently. And there was this one guy I worked with. Very funny. Like, lovely guy. Very funny. But he, he spoke with a very French accent. He said it once, but he was in France. And um, he sometimes, and he spoke very good English, but he just sometimes his pronunciation was off. And, uh, he sometimes came out with some very strange phrases. Uh, the most memorable of which was um, one lunchtime, we were serving some some guests, and one of the ladies at the table was pregnant. And of course, if you're pregnant, there's a lot of things you, well, depending on what you've read and what you've been told by doctors and whatnot, and friends and etc. Uh, lots of things you can and can't eat. And what is this below me? Oh, I see. Uh, I'll go up here first. And so he was just running through the menu with her to check and that she wasn't gonna. So, um, oh, what a stupid way to die. What a stupid way to die. Playing badly today, I'm sorry. And he was just checking, so he was so he was just checking with her. Um, things we had on the menu. We had this piece of cured duck on the menu at the time and uh, I was walking behind him as I was hearing him chatting to the lady and I, I, I will never forget this because he turns to the lady and says uh, madame I just want to check with you because you, have, uh, you are uh, pregnant and uh, we have a few things on the menu that uh, I just want to check with you if you can eat 
for example, madam, I have a uh, beautiful piece of for you. Ah, I have a duck for you. <laughs> and I was walking behind him when he said this. Uh, essentially offering this lady a piece of his dick. Um, in one of the fanciest, well, the fanciest restaurant in the city. Uh, and I just had to run into the back room and fall on the floor laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. So funny. Um, and I never let him live in there. Every time I see him, I still get in touch, keep in touch with him all the time. I can't ever let him go. Uh, it's, it's just not what you expect. You just have to tell the way the French waiter offers you a piece of his dick. I don't think the lady even noticed, to be perfectly honest with you. Because she was Norwegian and he was speaking uh, English. She probably just brushed it off as her not here in the You know, you can have some great fun in restaurants. It's also, I think it's something that everybody should do, is work in a restaurant at some point in life. You know, it's just for a summer. Or something like that. Because it gives you a whole new perspective of life, stress, tackling, and all that kind of thing. Because if you can mentally survive being a winter, you can survive just about anything. I was taking juice by 10. Yeah, sure. And he's burned when they die. Alright, yeah, uh, we'll take both of these. Because I need skills. Skills to pay the bills. I'll never say that again, don't worry. So you get a lot of uh, very sort of transferable skills. The rest of um, oh, yes, yeah, no, I'll take that out. More of the money is spent on 10% damage reduction. I like these. Oh, that's firebrands. Hang on, no, I'll just take those. I'm an idiot. They look very similar in my defense. Take that. It's more useful. The heavy crossbow is good, but it's very situational. The firebrands are useful. Oh, great, you're going to put it there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very kind of We've got a long range weapon and we've got firebrands and skills. So if we don't fuck up this part, it is. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm talking about. so well. I was concentrating so hard. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. No big loss. being on stage in front of hundreds or thousands of people, um, which not everyone can, I understand there's a lot of, like, I have anxiety issues myself, not that kind, thankfully, with uh, more small scale stuff, like I, I can happily get up and sing in front of a thousand people uh, without really caring too much about it, but ask me to talk to a group of five people that I don't know, and uh, we have issues. <laughs> no, the, the theatre uh, was very cool. You got, to, you got to do some really cool stuff as well, which is like, I, the, the, my favorite thing that I learned how to do uh, was breathe fire. So I, I there was this one, was this one kind of show that I was in. It was like a variety show, and we did lots of different things all of the time. Um, 
and there was this one part of it which was set in a like a circus and the opening of it was like a lot of people different circus tricks like there was people juggling and whatnot and then i was going to fire breathing so i spent a few days like uh, i was away learning how to do it um and that sort of thing and it's it's surprisingly easy actually uh, as long as you can stand the taste of paraffin which is, isn't too bad to be honest um it's uh, pretty easy so what you have to do basically is you have to have something that's on fire on a stick basically which was what i had uh just, just like a rag tied to the end of a stick dip some paraffin and set on fire and um a little jar of paraffin which i then drank from and oh, careful don't fuck it up uh, oh, need more health and strength Good. And, um... Uh... <laughs> for a second. And so then what you had to do was, uh... Once you had the paraffin in your mouth, and you were ignoring the horrible taste of it... Relatively. Then what you had to do was, um... Spray it out of your mouth in such a way that it was... Like, a very, very fine spray. Not like a, not like a stream. Not that bad. Ah! Uh, which, was, which was the hard part, really. So you had to, like, puff up your cheeks and then blow it out. Properly. And uh, if you did it wrong, it would just look terrible and could potentially hurt you. But uh, I did it right most times. The third time we had to do it, I completely screwed it up. I decided, like, my dad didn't want to I decided I wanted to make a big, like, a big flame. Because <laughs> the thing is, my eye, your eyes are always closed, too. If, you, if they're open, it's very, very warm. Right in your face, you feel it. You're spitting something out that's then catching fire. Makes sense. Um, and so you couldn't really see it, so I, I just like, was, I, I assumed that they weren't very big, but I told that it was, not like, it was fairly big. Um, Oh. Happy there. Ah. So I decided I wanted to make it extra big, so I took a big gulp of the before I went on. And the problem was that actually that makes it very, very difficult to do. You can't get the air in your mouth that you need to then spray. So note to any of you budding fire breathers. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. Don't put too much paraffin in here. What ended up happening was it wasn't but um I have to the flamethrower turret. But what happened was it basically just looked like I spat an enormous amount of spit onto the stage. Onto the stage. And uh, the audience was very cool. Because there's this big sort of it's like a semi-dramatic big build up before I came up with it. It's supposed to do the fire with it. So I just twirled this flaming stick and then took a giant gob on the stage. <laughs> this is essentially what people do. Uh, it's good fun, nonetheless. Just to touch it, I just had to walk on the floor. That's it, that's all I've got for you guys. Sorry about that. But, uh, there's lots of new theatre, there's lots of things like that. You just learn to deal with embarrassment and screwing things up and all that stuff. able to get through. What? Hang on. Hayden, I'm sorry, I'm just focusing straight on the mini-map right now. I'm not actually looking at where I'm going. This was the... No, that's definitely not opening, is it? Really? 
Oh, it's very loud, well, isn't it? Oh, what's in here? Oh! Put your hands on the keyboard when you're moving like that. Don't be silly. Bear trap, no help. Can't say I found them particularly useful. And I don't really need to go down there, so I shan't. That's how you get over there right now. I'm confusion a bit. <laughs> There's got to be more for me on this level. Surely. Surely. I think we're... Yeah, I think we're just going. Oh! Death to all. 175 points de vie from the big... Oh, Jenkins will be proud. <laughs> nice. How old is he really? That's sad. Right, there's people watching this who don't even know what it is. Come on, man. Be nice. It's been nice. It's not been good. It's not been very nice. It's just been normally nice. What are you? Tell me. Turn the game set game volume down. Because it's getting loud. There we go. I hope that isn't too quiet for you. I'll if it's too much, I'll check it in the video. But if it's if it's too much, I'll if it's too too quiet, I'll turn it back and just turn it down in my ears. But I can't quite get to that setting at the moment. Without completely screwing up the recording. Oh, just hurt my ears. So I really want to find out if they've added anything past the last boss. That is my main goal at the moment. And I'm really interested in seeing all the yes please, all the new stuff, because there's still more stuff to be found. Because there's lots of those jars at the beginning that are quite empty still. <laughs> so I've definitely got more stuff to find. Um, but I want to know all the other secrets, all these dude in the in the sewers as well. What's he about? The guy with the room. You know, we wanted the room. Burn him. Burn him all. Hey, what? Excuse me. Not allowed. Penalty for that. I forgot the rapier is terrible against those things on the ground. It doesn't have the range down there. So. But I think I'm going to take a, a little bit of a break from Dead Cells soon. Do some other stuff. Not sure quite what. I need to find something else to work well for this kind of nonsense that I do on YouTube. Oh, good shot, man. Very good shot. This sort of nonsense that I do on YouTube. Roguelikes work very well for this sort of thing. But uh, I'd like to do something else. Maybe I need to go and replay Hollow Knight and do it as a walkthrough. That would be nice. I did that on stream. Or at least I did the last half of it on stream, but I'd like to go back to it and play it again. Maybe label it as walkthrough. <laughs> Despite the fact I'll be horrible at it. Nope. Because I haven't played for months. I want more games like that to come out. It's such a good game. And this is a very good game as well, don't get me wrong. It's just not got that depth that Hollow Knight has, which I just fell in love with. Here, nothing up here. Okay. Oh, please, please. <laughs> That's another thing I need to work on in this game: is being able to drop down those holes. Should be easy. Or uh, to phrase that correctly, dropping down those holes should be fun. Oops. 
but I still need to go back and finish the longest journey. Of the world. I'll probably do that. I'll because I want to go back up to doing two. I started off doing two videos a day, and I'd like to try and get that trend going again because I think that's better, a better format, a better way of doing this kind of format. Because it's just, it's like if you upload one a day and you do a long series like this, like Dead Cells, and I'm uploading one of these every day, and if I've got someone who maybe for some reason enjoys watching me but doesn't necessarily enjoy this game they're, I'm gonna, they're gonna lose interest so I would like to try and have be as inclusive as possible and have I finished this? I have haven't I? I'm in the right place as well so I'd like to try and be as inclusive as inclusive as possible so that's why I'd like to try so if, if there's something going up at least every day that's, that everyone can get something out of I think that's important I'm, just, I'm, I'm working on it I'm working on, as I say any suggestions I'm more than happy to listen to. Okay. I'm also a little tired today, so I apologise if I'm not quite as lively as I was in the last episodes. Not the right kind of tired. Last episode I was the perfect kind of tired for this sort of thing. Just talking nonsense. I'm also going to do a stream later tonight, so... Saving my energy for that as well. Alright, let's go. Probably just start like coming up with things that I want to talk about and then <laughs> writing them down and going through them afterwards. Because at the moment I'm just whatever comes to mind I'm talking about. Hence the lack of general direction in what I'm saying. Maybe that's a good idea. I'll maybe look into that next time. things on one short oh I'm going to the wire no nope. someone's facing the wrong way I'll burn you today you can have the pleasant thing instead. would sir like the burning <laughs> would sir like to be burnt to death or shot to death uh, what entirely sir what would you choose if you could pick the method of Death. It was non natural. What would you do? Comments on a postcard, please. Answers on a postcard. Right. Does anyone remember those days when there were all these TV programs that were saying that they were like had writing competitions and stuff or asked a question and they were like, can I have your answer on a postcard and send it to a field box? Oh my god, game. You can't do this to me. It's not allowed. Oh. We're in a slump. We're in a bit of a slump. We're having a bad, a bad few runs, and it's, uh, it's been, uh, it's been difficult. I, I honestly, I think that there's, there's been an increase in difficulty in the game, and I, I think that's a good thing, because I'm no longer sort of plowing through it as I was before. And I don't know if that's just because I'm not playing as well, and maybe not concentrating as much, or if it's because the game has got harder. I think the game has got harder. Certainly with some of the enemies have, who have been buffed and some of the weapons that have been nerfed in a lot of senses but regardless i will stop waffling now thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you enjoyed the video please feel free to leave a like down below it would mean a great deal to me and it does help out a lot as well um, and if you want to see more of this style of content uh, on an almost daily basis then uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well and you will get updates from me as often as i can thanks once again for joining and i'll see you next time enjoy the rest of your morning evening day or night Bye-bye.